configuration hosts and uh, my host today will be Zavix server items okay so we have a whole lot of items down the left with keys and we can extend Zavix by inventing our own keys like using system.run for example and calling a script with some arguments but some people consider that quite hard to read they would want something a bit more like this like system cpu switches or well, this is much easier to read you know it's less less letters and actually two parts to a name and a, a value so we can do that we can do something similar but, and create custom keys using a thing called user parameters so we can invent our own i'll show you how to do that okay so if i just go onto my server okay so i'm ssh onto my server i'm going to create a user parameter called is alive is alive like that that will be the the key of my item and what it will do is just for starters just will echo one like that return a one so to create that let's go into nano etc zabbix zabbix agent.conf and if we go down about three quarters of the way oh, there we go we find a thing called user parameter like so so i'm just going to uncomment that user parameter equals is alive comma the command which is echo one like so e user parameter is alive echo one control x uh, to save yes and we can just quickly test that while we're here using the zabbix agent d process so zabbix agent d t is alive is alive there we go is alive returns a one and actually before the zabbix server can can call it we'll have to restart the agent so sudo service zabbix agent restart okay let's go into zabbix and create that item create item um is is alive and the key is is alive that's the name of the user parameter i just created it's a numeric 30 seconds and i'm going to put it into examples something i created before add is alive hey okay, let's just check now check now let's go to monitoring latest data and wait for it to turn up there we go is alive last value equals one that's excellent okay so i mean that was the most basic user parameter you can do i'm going to do something slightly more complicated and that is count how many queries have been executed in mysql since it was last started so and that is this one here so that's 20 286,000 queries so i'm going to put that into an item and i'm going to put that command into a user parameter and what is important is since the zabbix agent is running with the zabbix user i'm going to need to just make sure that uh, the mysql command also uses the zabbix well we have to explicitly tell it which username and password to use and for the purpose of this video the zabbix password is password like so so let's run that yep and it gives me the answer that i want so let's create the the user uh, parameter now let's go back into zabbix agent conf and we'll scroll down until we find the user parameters section there we go and i'm just gonna copy copy that line there is a parameter equals i'm going to call it my sql dot questions 
comma now to enter the command and that will be there we go so mysql user equals zabbix and the password for the purpose of this video is password returns the status and then it just cuts out the section of the response that I want enter control X to save yes okay now let's just uh, try that out using Zabbix Zabbix agent D T MySQL dot questions excellent and before we can call that from the server we'll just need to restart the agent so sudo service Zabbix agent restart excellent okay so let's go and create mysql questions item in zabbix into configuration hosts down here on this server i'm using items let's create an item and i'm going to call it my mysql um queries running t running running total and that key is mysql.questions like so it's a numeric and i'm going to put that into another application i created earlier called sql Something like that and just add that okay so down here mysql queries running total let's just uh, check that now and we have no errors let's go to monitoring later starter and it's sql there it is okay mysql queries running total two nine five eight four eight let's just run that again two nine five eight four eight Okay, so that's going to update once every 30 seconds. 297214. There we go. This is going to keep incrementing. And changed by 1366. Cool. Excellent. Well, that's two examples of user parameter. Now it gets even more exciting. We're going to use a thing called flexible user parameters, where I can pass a parameter into the user parameter but what we're going to do is edit the is alive that i created before configuration hosts items let's go down to the is alive and edit that one and what we're going to do is give it the option to pass in a parameter so that is this and my first parameter is going to be sean was here string is alive Sean was here okay so this isn't set up yet so it's it's not going to give us anything exciting just yet but let's just update that anyway and go into the Zabbix server again and we'll edit the configuration file so sudo no, etc Zabbix Zabbix agent dot conf and to use the parameters whoops too far there they are and this is alive instead of saying echo one we're gonna echo oh comma star well square bracket star and we're gonna echo dollar one which being the first argument excellent let's save that Control, control X, yes. A pseudo service agent restart. We'll give that a bit of a test, actually. Zabbix agent D T is alive. A B C. Zealous. Okay, so it returns A B C. Sean was here. 
There we go, Sean was here. So anything you put into it is it's just echoing that right back. Excellent. It's actually not echoing in numeric anymore. So let's fix that nice and quickly. Is alive. It's actually uh, a type of information. It's now text. So I'll just update that. Let's go down monitoring latest data and have a look at. Uh, I put it in example. So just have to wait for it to update. And examples. There we go. Is alive. Last value. Sean was here. I think we get that. That is now that was using user parameters with a with an argument. Now something else. Items. One of the user comments I got was I should be using user parameters instead of doing that. But you know, I like using system run to do this kind of thing. But I'm gonna show you how to convert this. This check I did in a previous video, checking SSL. Well, we'll use, we'll convert that to a user parameter. The user parameter code is going to be, so if I go back onto the server, let's clear that, go into the configuration file. Still don't know, conf, there it is. We'll go down to user parameters. Go, let's create another one. I'm just going to copy that. The, and I'm going to call it SSL dot SSL dot check with a uh, those comma. So it's like we're using the the flexible user parameter again, passing in a value. We're going to pass in the domain. Yeah. SSL check and then the script will be the same as the one that I was calling manually, which is home Zabbix check SSL dot sh and then dollar one. Like so. That should be good. It's control X. Yes. Let's just restart the agent. Yep. And we can just do a real quick test on that. Sabix agent D T S S S S L dot check Google dot com uh, Google dot com SSL certificate expires in seventy one days MSN dot com two hundred and forty four days That's basically it so that was in a previous video I made I went through all of that Let's go into Zabbix and just edit this item to use a user parameter instead of a system run. Okay, so that now is ssl.check, check, twocoin.org. Same thing, returns numeric. So update that. Excellent. SSL. And we can see that's kind of a bit nicer to read than, than perhaps that. But, you know, I don't care. I, I like to use system run. Some people prefer user parameters. User parameters look much neater. But there's just that extra step of creating the user parameter in the configuration file. Cool. And uh, let's just check that is actually working. Check now. Monitoring latest data. It was SSL check. Okay. I mean, it's going to be a minute before. There we go. SSL check to coin.org. Last change was 132. Graph. Behind my head. Very good. User parameters. In Zabbix.